Assalamu alaikum. What is up? Just side of AK, we all blessed. That was a tape, man. The hell? Today's video, man, we're gonna be reacting to funny Islamic posts on Reddit. And I'm gonna be going around on Reddit and singing this man. We're gonna be seeing this man. We're gonna be seeing this man, yo. Inshallah, I will be giving him a reaction, and y'all gotta know, man. Stick around, man. Don't don't leave right now. Check out the channel, man. And before we get into the video, I want y'all to please, man, for my brother, for you, and for everybody, for the family, subscribe. Like the videos and share them. Check out my other videos, man. There's a link upstairs right now. Check the playlist out. And remember, man, you black, I black, and we all blessed. Let's get into these posts and let's break them down. Let's go. Pew. Met people I really wished this upon. Do you ever come across a very kind non Muslim and you just pray for Allah to guide them? Like, it'd be lovely to see you in Jannah. Ah, man, it's so beautiful. Yes, I actually do come across people like that. I have amazing people that I know. Shout out to my boy Sean. Shout out to my boy uh, Jerry. I mean, I like them brothers. You know, like, guide them to Islam, man. They got good hearts, man. And, you know, you gotta make dua, man. That's the thing. It's very important. Alright, man, I'm scrolling through every year. Reminded about Valentine's Day through the calendar. Reminded about Valentine's Day through memes. Reminded about Valentine's through Team Snapchat. Reminded about Valentine's through Muslims in social media saying it's haram. <laughs> so funny, BBF. I don't find it funny. We all know it's fake. I mean, he had emoji right now, you know, the gun sticking out, my boy, you know, flexing his game. I don't know if he has that right now. He, he tapping, he's tapping behind a keyboard, apparently, and he's flexing, but I mean, we'll go with that big gun, yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> when you see people linking Islam to terrorism without any knowledge. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities browsers. Okay, I mean, that's a good description, but I have no understanding of those words. Apparently, I am illiterate when it comes to these type of words, man. They fly over my head, you know, my boy. I, I, I gotta grab the dictionary, do my thing, do some readers, you know, do my thing, but I can't right now because, you know, my boy in college, my boy working part time doing his thing, but he's trying to grind. But, uh, yeah, let's get to the point. My bad. What will you take? And there's apparently two people taking. <laughs> we will go to Uh huh. Back to back on <laughs> <honor>, please. <laughs> Inspired by Facebook. When you post something about the state of the Ummah and Muslims start asking what you're doing to help. I haven't programmed the path yet. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty true when you raise up a topic about a state and a, a thing that's going on, a current topic, and people just jump to guns, man. They, they get on to you right away. What are you doing to help? What are you doing? Oh, you're just sitting here in your basement and everything. But they don't understand, man. At times, you know, you can't do anything to help, but except for raise your concern, you know? I mean, it's a good meme, man. I mean, I like that. Me to shaitan after reciting Aytul Kursi. You have no power over here. Yeah, I mean, that's true sometimes. You know, at times, you know, you're just chilling, you're doing your thing. And, uh, you know, you get the was was, man. You know, we all know what's that, yeah? But it's just, man, we gotta keep making that effort to, you know, keep fighting. Because the thing is, the thing is here to stay and it's here to take you and grab you and, you know, not let go. But you gotta be fighting. You gotta be doing your thing. Get back up. You know, sh shit on, say something, you know, punch him in the face. Get up, do your salat, do your thing, and shout. Allah. Every time Imam is two minutes late, old dude wanna be Imam with bad touch feet. <laughs> oh, my time has come. Oh my god. Come on, man. You can't do that, man. Uncles, man, they're doing their thing, man. They're better, man. They, you know, they're better, man. You know, they're desar karte, man. You know, they're looking at the clock. Man, I've got time on it. Should I have time on it? 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 I will lead. I will lead, okay? 
yes, it's a difference in hearing a person uh, reciting in a beautiful manner in, a, in the way it's supposed to be recited. And yes, it's different. Yeah, I'll admit on that. But yeah, it's kind of you, man. You're taking shots on that one. Come on. Yeah, a new browser. <laughs> browser, browser. Again, I can't understand the language. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Okay, politician who said the Quran is poison. Stop for Allah. Uh, announces he has become a Muslim after trying to write anti-Islam book. Oh, mashallah. It's very good. I heard about this. It was all over the Muslim page. Oh, there's something on the bottom too. The hat is in the first half. Not gonna lie. <laughs> no, you guys read the whole thing, man. Come on. Just made me laugh out loud. Oh, wow. Man, you're the first person I know to write that, man. Laugh out loud. You just write that LOL. You don't look Muslim. Oh, WTF, uh, must I then look like a roti? <laughs> man, you don't need to use that language, WTF, man. Come on, man. You've been in Can we get a oof in the comments? Customer. May I ask something? Is the meat halal here? Wait, is your relationship halal? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually rude, man. Come on, but I mean, yeah. The guy does have a point. It ain't much, but Alhamdulillah. When you see other people talking about how much the Quran they have memorized, meanwhile, you only know a few surah. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Yeah, very true. See, it's the difference between knowing all these surahs and not knowing anything, the meaning, and not applying them into your life, and knowing and you knowing a little surah, so like for example, Surah Asr, and you actually applying what that surah is teaching, and you know the meaning behind it, and when you recite it, you recite it with much more concentration with other people when they have memorized so much, and they don't know the meaning of what they're reciting. And I'm not encouraging you to not memorize for that reason. I'm saying that memorize, but also try to know the meaning and know what you're reciting, so you can implement it, and you can. Have